Commitment 2023 coverage. Today was election day for several different races across Oklahoma. We had voters casting ballots on, on a lot of different local and municipal measures. And we are tracking all the results as they roll in this evening. KOCO Zach Rael is here in studio with us. And Zach, you have the latest on the biggest races that we're watching this evening. Yeah, Jess Evan, that's right. We're following a lot of different races for you, but a couple of the major ones that we want to focus on right now, the first being the next Oklahoma County Clerk and take a look at the very latest numbers for the Oklahoma Election Board with all precincts now reporting. Marissa Treat has won the election against Pastor Derek Scobie. You can see the numbers right here. She won with 52% of the vote. Now this race was actually really, really tight up until the last batch of votes came in. Now she is the wife of the most powerful man in the state Senate, Senate Pro Tem Greg Treat. Moving on to the race for Edmund Mayor, voters have re-elected Mayor Daryl Davis for a second term. He has defeated Brian Shellman, winning 52% of the vote. Mayor Davis has said that he plans to continue to oversee Edmund's growth and plans to address roads now that he is re-elected. And one more race that we are following very closely this evening, the Norman City Council Ward 5 race. Michael Nash has ousted the incumbent councilman, Rashar Tortorello. Only 28 votes separated the two candidates with 100% of the vote now in. Now this race also pretty interesting because the results were actually flipped when the two ran against each other just two years ago. Nash is the former Pikeoff OTA president, which is ever present, of course, on the minds of Norman voters. And you can catch the complete election results. It's posted right now on KOCO.com and the KOCO5 mobile news app.